Are these sealed Amazon mystery boxes all hype or are we actually profitable? What is up beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. Today I want to talk a little bit about the sealed Amazon mystery boxes that we have been unboxing a plethora of them, if you will. Uh, we have unboxed a lot of these. And one of the common questions I get is, are these mystery boxes legit? Do y'all actually sell this stuff? Are y'all actually profitable? Um, so I'm gonna be answering those questions in this video. I did wanna go over all of the numbers from our very first Amazon mystery box haul. We had nine boxes that we unboxed. I think we made seven YouTube videos, just kind of unboxing those things. We paid $325 um, or $326 for those boxes. Um, so, you know, have we been profitable? Have we not been profitable? This is all a lie. This is drama, a scandal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going over all of the numbers. I'm gonna pull up eBay and we're just gonna go through all of the numbers here together. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna be as transparent as I can in this video. So honestly, we've only listed stuff from the very first haul that we got back in August of last year. Um, we had nine boxes and we've listed stuff from those nine boxes. We do have three full boxes still left um, that kind of has stuff from other boxes kind of piled into them. Editing TJ here. I want to show y'all real quick at the store what we've got um, still left over from these boxes before you get into the, all the items being sold. Um, just to give you a little context of how much what we got, you know, how much stuff we got left. So right now we still have three boxes from the original nine boxes that we bought. And you can see these boxes are pretty full with stuff. None of this stuff right here is listed. I don't even know what's all in here. See, a lot of the clothing stuff, you know, obviously we, we take a long time to <laughs> list that stuff, but this is just still a bunch of stuff in here. Um, there's this tablet we still have. Um, we still got a bunch of stuff, uh, comforter set. Got a bunch of stuff still left. Um, to list from this haul. And then also, there's still also some stuff that we have on our shelves that can be sold. So for instance, this was in one of the boxes and it's a food fresh um, vacuum sealer that works. I got listed for like 80 bucks. So this is a little context of how much stuff we still have left over at the store um, from this lot. So um, if you saw the video where I was over at the store a couple weeks ago, you saw those boxes because I, I pointed those boxes out. Um, the six boxes that we got from the last haul is still in my garage. I have not taken them over to the store. We have not listed anything from those items. And then the four boxes, the new boxes we got, obviously we've only un uh, unboxed two of them and we still got two boxes to unbox in the garage. So that's kind of my transparent moment. That's where we're at right now. We've only listed stuff from the first nine boxes. So this is really, it was really easy for me to look up the items that we sold because I just went through all the videos and got the items that we sold from the sold list and then kind of translate those over to um, what we sold. So this is the eBay list of all the stuff that we sold. I'm just gonna kind of go through here and point out the items that we sold and what we sold them for and what the, I'm not gonna give you the selling cost, but I'll tell you what the total profit was after um, all of the selling costs. So the first item that we sold was this, the Word and Song Bible. Um, so this was one of the ones I kind of made fun of when we opened it up because I was like, why is there this old uh, Bible that's in here that has like cassette tapes? Cause they had cassette tapes in it, but we actually sold it for $32. Um, we took an offer for that. And then after fees and everything, it was uh, $14 is what we profited from that item. The next item that we sold was this Funko Pop Legends Farrah Fawcett vinyl uh, figure. It had heavy, heavy um, box damage on it, but it still, uh, it still sold. People still like Funko Pops, even without the boxes on it. Um, we sold that for $14.67. Um, and then after shipping the fees, we made $3.35 from that item. Okay, so then the next thing that we sold was this whole saw set for $24.50. Um, after shipping the fees, we made $9.51 on that item. The next item that we sold was this magnetic photo grid, which I didn't even remember unboxing. I had to go back to the videos to find this item. Um, but we sold this for $11.01 and we profited $3.39 for that item. The next item that we sold was this Pearl Smith tabletop TV stand, universal pack, whatever. So this was kind of interesting because this was one of the items that we didn't really know if it had all the parts and pieces in the box. 
um so we kind of sold it as is um it did look like it was in pretty good condition but the box if you can see the box you probably can't see the box but the box is like not in good repair so we was a little nervous about selling that but we did take an offer for 36 dollars and 71 cent so after shipping and fees we paid 15 dollars and 61 cents that was a pretty solid sale uh and then we also sold this ultra soft plush pet dog bed um it's just a brown dog bed it, nothing special um we actually listed it for 17 dollars, and we got 17 dollars and 46 cent for it um and after shipping the fees we made five dollars and 98 cent from that sale all right so the next thing that we sold was this jay and silent bob big fat card on game we sold it for 13 dollars and 93 cents um we end up clearing about three dollars from this sale we do actually have like two or three of these so we do have this is a multiple listing so hopefully we do sell some more of these but we have sold at least one of those make three dollars from it uh the next thing that we sold was these drapes for uh for ceremony reception backdrop decorations burgundy and cream um this is one of the things that i would have looked at and said this is junk but april did list it and we made 27 dollars on this item uh well we sold it for 27 dollars. we made 12 dollars on it after shipping and fees then the next thing we sold was this dc hero harley quinn costume uh we sold this for 32 35 dollars and we end, end up making 25 dollars and 58 cent uh, for this item it was missing one of the pieces in it but obviously somebody bought it and wanted it and we actually sold this probably um around october uh, around halloween so somebody wanted it for a halloween uh outfit and we didn't get a return so they must have liked it all right then the next thing that we sold was the easy acc five inch tabletop desk fan it was a usb powered uh little fan we sold it for 17 dollars. so after shipping the fees we made six dollars and 68 cent for this item the next thing that we sold was this celebrate fall together pumpkin patch autumn fall table runner this would have been something that i probably would have just not listed just to be honest with you but <laughs> april did list it uh we sold it for 12 dollars, and we end up profiting five dollars and 38 cent from this item all right so it's kind of weird the next couple items are just all in the line they was all from the same mystery box i guess because we listed everything pretty much in the same couple days um so these items sold um in pretty quick succession uh, uh so the next thing was the easy going stretch sofa silk uh silk slip cover um we actually talked about this a little bit in the video when we unboxed it that you know these slip covers do sell for quite a bit of money you do have to list them um, you know, you can't just think that, oh, nobody's going to buy that because a lot of people will buy them. Uh, we actually took an offer for $31 for this and we profited $17. The next item is the colorful socks pair. So it's just like a, a, a little pair of like some little tiny socks. Um, we sold those for $9 and we profited $4 for those. And then we sold the Ecobon 100 mini light orange light. So these, this was a light set. These is all brand new. Um, so I've was pretty sure these would sell. Uh, we took off for $14 and we end up profiting $2.57 for this item. So the next thing that we sold, which was a little bit, I didn't, I wouldn't have listed this, April listed it. Um, this was the Lace Ruffle Frilly Ankle Socks. So these was like some little baby um, ruffle ankle socks. So we took off for $4.56 for this and we actually lost 13 cent on this sale. So you'll see a theme of, kind of like a higher selling cost uh selling price and then a lower selling cost after you know shipping fees and all those different things but you got to think about every little penny that we make is going to be profitable on this item we probably had a markdown sale going so that's why it's got an odd number like four dollars and 56 cent i know we didn't list it for four dollars 56 cent but it probably was a markdown sale so overall for the markdown sale we probably was profitable but we sold this one as a 13 cent loss and I don't have to deal with it no more, just to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, the next thing that we sold was this cute cat, dog, puppy, small dog. It was like a little puff coat for um, a dog. And we sold that for $6 and we profited 64 cent from that item. Then we sold this flat top guide comb with liquid bubble level flat topper, straight hair cut beige. I still don't know what this thing is. I remember asking in the video if anybody knew what that was. Uh, it looked like a little like pitchfork or fork or something like that. Uh, I believe we had two of these, um, but we only sold one of them, but we actually did sell this item for $12.60. So somebody knew what it was. And we profited $6.70 from that item. The next thing that we sold was this Anibal, uh wireless car charger mount. A lot of times we get these in and the mounts already been stuck 
um, like the little sticky piece and then we can't end up selling it because they can't mount it to anything. Um, but we did list this one. Uh, we sold it for $35 and after Texas shipping fees, we made $28.48 from this item. The next item that we sold was this smart portable water warmer baby love bottle warmer. It's like a portable bottle warmer. Um, we actually sold this for $32.45 and we profited $25.79. So on this page, a lot of stuff that we sold was very quick. We sold all these items in a very quick succession. All right, so the next item that we sold was this book. It was a what will Rockefeller, what would the Rockefellers do? We sold it for $11.61 um, and we profited $4.56 for this item. And then the next item was this one um, kitchen scale with LCD. Um, we sold it for $13.78 and we profited $6.05 from that item. So this is the last page of stuff that we sold from the mystery bot slot. This was the um, 31 inch realistic hand braided synthetic lace front wig. I know y'all probably remember uh, we talked about this product quite a bit. So this was probably one of the most expensive items that we got from that first uh, nine box sealed Amazon mystery box haul. We ended up taking the offer for $80 on that and we profited $55.84 for that item. So that was probably one of the largest sales, I believe that we had from this whole um, lot. The next item that we sold was this uh, dog vest with harness. Uh, we took off for $8 for that and we profited 8.83 cents. So less than a dollar for uh, profit for that one. And then the next thing was the pet heating mat, um, pet heating mat. So I guess you can put it inside of uh, a cage and it will help heat the cat or dog. Um, we sold that for $38 and five cent and we profited $21 and 81 cent. Uh, and then the next thing that we sold was this ski boot travel backpack. And we sold that for $54 and 36 cents and we profited $33 from that sale. The next one was the uh, cute stone doll house. So this is one that we talked about while we were unboxing it because we said we weren't gonna take out all the parts and pieces to make sure they all, all was there. Um, you can see on there that it explicitly says parts only. So we didn't go through, it could have been a complete set. Maybe it wasn't a complete set. I'm not sure because it was all just kind of thrown into the box, but we did take an offer for $29.66 and uh, we profited $10.41 from that item. It was, it was a kind of a bit box, but we did make $10 on it and we didn't have to test it or look at it. We just listed it as for parts on it. So don't sleep on your items that you think that people aren't gonna buy because you never know what people um, are gonna actually purchase. So we did also have this ingenious uh, cordless phone. Now I think we unboxed this. I didn't really go too, in, too far in detail with it because it didn't have a box. It was just, just in the Amazon bag. So I didn't really know what it was. I just knew it was a cordless phone. And I probably made a joke about like, hey, nobody uses cordless phones, but this was actually a pretty expensive cordless phone. Um, and it's just the one phone, the base, and it did work. We did test it. Um, we took an offer for $27.42 and we profited $15.64 for that item. And then the next item that we sold was this new inbox uh, RC excavator truck. Um, this was like a remote control um, excavator. It was $26.17 is what we took for it. And then with shipping and fees, it was $8.09 was the profit for that item. Next item was this Funko Pop Kurt Angle. Um, the box on this one was terrible. Almost, I almost didn't list it with the box because I was like, man, this box is so like terrible. Nobody would ever, you know, buy it. That's one thing about Amazon mystery boxes is um, when Amazon ships Funko Pop, sometimes they don't ship them in the best box sometimes they ship them in, in a bag and they don't necessarily get to customer i actually just returned two funko pops because the boxes were like pretty smashed up from amazon so that's how these items get into these mystery boxes so we sold this one for 50 21 dollars and 58 cent um and 12 dollars and seven cent was the profit that we made after we sold this item the very last item that we have on the list is going to be this five tier necklace earrings jewelry rack I couldn't really find a listing for this, but I did just list it as the item. I took a picture of it, um, as you can see, and I said it was a five tiered necklace, earrings, jewelry holder, and somebody actually bought it, which I'm actually surprised about. But we sold it for $23.37, and the profit was $18.64 after shipping and fees. So I do know that that was a lot of stuff to go through, and I'm not sure if I'll include all those items 
in in the final edit of this video because that was that was quite a lot. It was like 15 minutes long with me going through each individual item. But I will tell you the total amount of what we sold was seven hundred and seven dollars and eighty six cents. That was for thirty one items, the ones I just listed, and um, that was a pretty good. You know to me that was a pretty good selling price for those items now if you are a seller on amazon or ebay or any other selling platform you know that there are shipping costs and there's also fees which normally take up a lot of percentage of your actual profit so the actual profit that we took home um was 384 dollars and 60 cents so if you can do the math we paid 326 dollars for this whole entire load we do have three boxes of stuff still left at the store so i'll say it's probably about maybe four or five hundred dollars worth of items it's a lot of clothes um there's some hot dollar items like i know there's a vacuum seal that i got listed for like eighty dollars um so there's still some items some really good items in there that we have not sold that's still from the lot that we have um and also some of the items that we still got listed that we haven't sold um as well but uh, we paid 326 dollars for this load so that means that we had a total profit of 58 dollars and 60 cents for all the items that we sold in this lot after shipping and fees so they don't seem like a lot i'm not gonna lie just out of all the stuff we were profitable which means you know of all the things that we have sold thus far um you know we have broken at least broke even and made a little bit of a profit now we did get this load back in august so it's been you know half a year a little over half a year and you know we're we are in a profit so we'll you know that i feel like that's a win a win a win is a win but i will say i want to also include how much we made with the videos that we posted of those items we're completely transparent here y'all know that we make youtube videos you're watching this is a youtube video we get paid for youtube videos based on the ad revenue from those videos and um you know we've had a couple of the videos from those series actually perform very well um and they have been pretty pretty profitable so i'm gonna tell you um how much we made on each video i'm not going to show you which video we made from each one but i'm just going to tell you the amounts that we made on each video so we did end up making um seven total videos for this um first haul um round that we had i guess you can say the first video made 28 dollars and 87 cent the second video made 523 dollars and 98 cent the third video made 15 dollars and 23 cent the fourth video made eight dollars and ten cent the fifth video made 144 dollars and 73 cent the sixth video made $26 and the seventh and final video made $23.55 with a grand total of $770.47 just from YouTube from unboxing the videos for you guys. And I will say I appreciate everybody for watching, liking, subscribing, um, sharing the videos. You know, it helps us out. Um, it supports our channel. It supports us making more videos. So, um, you know, we put most, if not more than the money that we get from YouTube back into the channel. Um, so a lot of times we'll go and we'll buy new hauls and we'll make more unboxing videos. We'll make different videos and stuff like that. So anyway, I just want to say I, I appreciate y'all for watching the videos. But I want to give y'all a full total profit that we made from this with youtube and with the stuff that we sold not counting the stuff that we still have left over was 829 dollars and seven cent profit for everything from that very first haul which i think is pretty good so the reason i want to make this video is because i wanted to encourage people that wanted to get into possibly making content online or the people that maybe want to get into reselling and don't think that it's going to be profitable um you know it's 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 so difficult sometimes to see the end result or see you know how profitable you can be or see if it's going to be successful everybody's not going to be successful you're going to run across times or run across people that are not successful and we have not been successful in certain things within our business um so i would just want to encourage everybody to give things a try um don't go into it with a negative attitude go into it with a positive attitude look at the brighter side of things also diversify the way that you are making income so don't just do one thing and think that that's just enough um you know so us we make money off of our reselling stuff we also make money from the content that we post online and that's not just youtube we also post on instagram and on facebook and on tiktok so we got different platforms that we post our content on and we do get paid from each one of those platforms for our content so that's just another income stream that we have i just tell everybody if you are 
one to get into YouTube. Now is a really good time because they are um, all these different platforms are kind of competing to be the best. And with that, a lot of us content creators are actually winning because we're making some pretty decent money from, you know, from making content. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. I've been rambling on. It seemed like 20 minutes. I'm going to have to cut this video down because 21 minutes is too long for this video. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Also, hit the bell icon so you get notifications when we release, re release new videos. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.